Hey Trailblazers, hope you are doing good and welcome to the channel Panther Schools. Let's talk about the fourth apex design pattern and the name of pattern is facade pattern. Facade pattern is basically the structural design pattern that provides the unified interface for your complex library or a framework or other complex set of classes. The facade pattern can also structure your subsystem into the different layers into the logical layers where you can process your logics based on what kind of operation you wanted to perform for example over here if you see this pictorial representation there are customers who are trying to let's let's quickly take an example for shopping cart there are various customers who are trying to place the order so in the shopping cart there will be uh, there will be multiple things but we will take example of two things one the payment processing and the number one number two is the list of products the all products that a shopping cart will have for making the order now here the customer is trying to place an order then there could be multiple options for processing the payment for example stripe or it could be paypal not stripe let's talk about uh, it and um, with another way credit card debit card coins paypal qr code so there are various ways to make the payment so when the system comes or we say that when the shopping cart or when the customer tries try to place the order try to make the make the payment then what what we do is we as a developer behind the scene we uh, develop a facade class and that facade class is going to check which payment processing class i need to send it to or delegate the task to so we can refer those different payment processing system as a subsystem and this client facade client or facade class is going to delegate the task to the different subsystems and now we are basically structuring the classes into the different layers when we wanted to use facade pattern first thing we already talked about that we can structure our subsystem into different layers and second point is when you need to have the limited but straightforward interfaces to the complex system so if you have a need to change the interface dynamically or after one month or two months then this facade pattern might not work for your use case now let's see the problem statement again we have already talked about the same statement as an example where customer is trying to make a or make an order they are trying to place an order then the client or browser is going to send the information to the we can say our apex client and then apex client is going to delegate the work to the different different systems which could be our credit debit and uh, stripe quickbooks authorize.net or any other payment processing system now let's talk about how we are going to implement this so again the browser this uh, actor is our client then we have a browser and then this uh, under browser we have got shopping cart and then shopping cart will have one method process payment because processing the payment is not a part of shopping cart we are going to delegate the work delegate the task to the class which is going to be our facade class and we can name it as payment facade this payment facade will also have a process payment method and this process payment method is going to send the task or delegate the task to the appropriate class this could be your stripe or this could be credit card payment or debit card paypal or coins or any other payment processing system now let's implement this how we are going to implement okay so for the simplicity of the video i have created couple of classes not all the classes the couple of classes are here like shopping cart shopping cart going to have a list of products we have discussed it will have a payment type payment type either it is a credit card or it is a debit card okay and then we have a constructor that is not even useful so we can just go ahead and get rid of this that constructor then we have a method which is a boolean method it could be static or something it could return some values like boolean so let's quickly make return type as boolean and written either the payment is processed or not so i'll make sure i'm just returning true for now even though there is one line in between that we are going to discuss now this shopping cart as we discussed as uh, in the implementation slide 
that shopping cart is going to delegate the payment processing work to the payment facade class because payment processing is not the functionality of shopping cart so we are just having a payment facade class with the two different methods one is process payment and one is process refund this process payment is accepting two, two parameters one is payment type and one is payment system payment type we are going to check either it is a credit card or debit card paypal or coins and payment system it could be your stripe or quickbooks wherever you wanted to uh, make the charges or you wanted to accept the charges from the client so here in this method what we can do is we can say okay if payment type let's quickly have a payment type equal to credit card and then similarly we can have for debit card we can also have yeah there is one option for net banking so we can also have that one and then we can say uh, pay credit card equal to instead of paytm we are going to con uh, convert it to paypal okay and then we can say else default payment processing system okay now we are just using this variable this payment type variable and having multiple f else condition over here where we are going to uh, delegate the work to the payment processing system now we have this we have this method we are just going to deploy this so we have developed the shopping cart class then we have developed payment facade class then because payment processing is something which is common when we talk about common in terms of functionalities in terms of operations like either process payment refund payment these are the two main operations which happens in terms of payment processing right so for that we have created an interface which is i payment system with the two methods process payment and process refund because these are the two functionalities the operations which are important now what we will do is we will create the concrete classes we will create the implementer classes for this interface and it will be let's quickly create one class and we will say that credit card okay this is the credit card payment which is going to implement our interface which is i payment system and as this is an interface we need to implement all the methods which are there inside our interface so we have two method process payment even this is not accepting any parameter but that's fine we'll say that public static and what is the return type the return type is void instead yeah this is okay the return type is void and then the name of method is process payment similarly we are going to have a pro another method which is for process refund now here inside these two methods we can just quickly put the debug log like refund is processing refund or uh, it could be any static text okay so we have just created one credit card payment go ahead and deploy this code and let's quickly create one more class for debit card payment as well again this is going to implement the interface which is i payment system again this is going to implement those two methods and we can implement those two methods which is we have got process payment and process refund okay so we have created those two methods over here as well uh, we are not going to create the other classes like paypal or uh, net banking or something okay we have got this over here now we will get back to our payment facade class okay what we are going to do is we are going to say okay uh, what we will do is we have got this i payment system right so we'll say okay uh, go ahead and say i payment system and we'll say that payment equal to and we are going to say new then it is going to say credit card payment okay this is the one that we have and similarly we are going to do for our debit card payment as well and then we are going to change the method definition method implementation here in both the classes instead of making static we are going to make those uh, non-static so that we can refer with the instance of the class name okay now we have got we have made the changes we have deployed to org and here what we'll do is now we'll say that payment this is going to process the payment okay and similarly it is going to do process the payment 
now for uh, net banking and other items you can just go ahead and put the debug net banking like that okay it's a paypal and then here we can set default invalid payment type it could be any debug that you wanted to put or you wanted to use for your demo purpose now here we have got now let's quickly again talk about what we had we had a shopping cart this is going to be hit by the browser client and that browser client is going to hit by the actual user who is trying to place the order where we will get some sort of products we'll get payment type then we are sending over here payment systems then we are just saying okay payment facade dot uh, process payment we are sending these two parameters there could be additional parameters like what is an amount what is the tax percentage what are the other various taxes and uh, some information about uh, customer like email their name that kind of information could also be there that you can have that you can store or create a wrapper class and have various attributes for that wrapper class to store those details so that is what we have got over here now what we did is from shopping cart we delegated the work to payment facade class that payment facade class is having the we can say that all the subsystems those are more complex we are making the call out to the payment system we are getting the response we are parsing them then we are saying either the payment was successful processed or not and here we are also handling one thing based on the type of payment it is either credit or debit we are making use of uh, interface here because uh, this payment processing uh, or we can say processing the payment is a common entity that is why we are using interface and then we are making the process over here you can also make the use of uh, factory pattern over here the strategy class that we have discussed to store all these details uh, in the metadata and then dynamically uh, make the object and call the uh, methods that is also you can do that and then from here we are just having all these methods like debit card payment and here what we can do is uh, we can just have okay let's quickly uh, try to make the payment over here so what you can do is you said do something do something means make a call out to your uh, payment system now it could be your uh, stripe or it could be your uh, authorized.net it could be amazon it could be your uh, uh, quickbooks or any payment provider so that is how basically we are delegating the work now if you get back over here in the implementation you will quickly see this is what we have implemented and this is how the facade uh, works for us the facade pattern works for us now there could be like uh, pros and cons like pros is something like uh, we have already talked about it is going to structure all your subsystem into the different layers the cons of this pattern is this particular payment facade is going to be we can say dependent on the other classes because this this class does not have any uh, its own implementation it have some method and it is dependent on the other classes we either those could be implemented with the help of interface or those could be the individual classes so that is the cons of our facade pattern so yeah this is it for this facade pattern the fourth apex design pattern and uh, thank you for your time and if you have any doubt please feel free to reach out to me and we can definitely discuss your doubt in the next video we'll talk about the next pattern which is bulk state transition thank you